today I'm going to be showing you how to install Android x86 for um, ice cream sandwich on a ViewSonic ViewPad 10 or Tega V2 and all you have to do is you need UNET booting and you also need the ISO Android x86 file and I'll put the links for these in the description and um, what you need to do first is you need to go to Google and you can either either go to Google type in UNET booting and it's the one that says UNET booting dot source forge dot net you just click on it and click download for Windows like this but I, I will put the link in the description just for ease and um, you just click that and you download it and it's not an installer it's the actual program I thought it was a setup at first but it's not, it's the actual executable file and then you will need a disk drive of at least 2 gig and um, I've got a 4 gig one here as you can see all you do right click well first you make sure there's no important files on it mine's empty already, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes you right click click format you make sure quick format is ticked and then give it label of whatever you want you click start and you click ok you wait for a second and that will get there, there we go and then you click ok click close and then that's the first bit done then all you need to do is right click on unit booting click run as administrator click yes um, and when UNET booting loads up, all you need to do is um, go to disk image, make sure this is highlighted here, make sure ISO is highlighted, USB drive, find your drive, mine's H, but to make sure, all you do is go into Windows Explorer, um, you go to here, and the one that's empty is the one that we're using well the one that you've just formatted is the one that we're using in my case it's H so then you, you put H there you don't need this you just browse for this file so in my case it's desktop and then Android x86 4.0 Tega V2 click open and then you click OK and then we wait. And as you can see, it's extracting files. And um, it's got 12 files to do. And normally at 91%, it stops for a while. Don't be worried about that, it's not frozen, it does it for everyone. As you can see in a minute, it will probably freeze on mine. Yep, 91% and it's taken ages. Notice though, it's still responding. If it is not responding up here, then that means that it probably has froze. But just give it a while because the 91% bit, the system.sfs, it's 171 megabytes, so it takes quite a while takes up some resources as well so if it freezes then that's probably why just leave it <coughs> and if it's not done it within about three four minutes then exit it see it takes quite a while to do this <coughs> because the rest of it takes not even 30 seconds and then this takes about a minute and a half <coughs> and when it's done it'll say installing bootloader that will be highlighted like that <coughs> then it'll say installation complete reboot and I'll show you exactly what to do then as well that's that bit done 
um, it's on installing bootloader now as you can see it's installing syslinux and now it's done and then it says reboot now or exit see this is not the computer that I want to install it on because this is a HP laptop so all you do is you click exit and then that's that bit done and you've done you've basically made a live USB drive to install Android